Hello, my name is Ethan Buchanan. Today, I'm going to show you how I draw the ponies for First Class Platoon. This is Sergeant First Class Martingale. He is the platoon sergeant for First Class Platoon. He is mean, grumpy, angry. He's got a eye patch and scars. He's been in war. Very mean fella. Um, inspired by platoon sergeants like Sergeant Highway from Full, not Full Metal Jacket, uh, the Heartbreak Ridge. Hartman, Sergeant Hartman is from Full Metal Jacket. Um, who else is there? I mean, there's other movies. There's Sergeant Hulka from Stripes. That's that's not very much of a popular movie, but Stripes is, is that like 1980s? Uh, I think it's like 70s, but yeah, it's around there. 1980s, 70s. That was an old movie. But yeah, Platoon Sergeant, mean, basic right there. You can see here in our Christmas photo, everybody's happy except for the grumpy platoon sergeant. He is not happy because he has to sit and smile, but he doesn't. Sergeant Martingale, oh, this is a Martingale here. This piece of leather right there that goes down through the loop, down to the girth, that is the Martingale. The Martingale is a, it, it is many or several different types of tack that are used on horses to control their head. Um, it's a disciplinary tool to make sure that they don't bob it up too much, because if a horse rears his head up quick enough, he can get you right in the jaw. So this is so they don't jump up or do crazy stuff. It's a disciplinary tool, so it's fitting for a platoon sergeant. Okay, let me start. Let's start with the head. The head is a circle. Circle from about that big. Okay, now I'm going to take blue. The reason why I'm using blue is because if I use black, when I try to get rid of this, it's going to stick to the rest of the outline and I'm not going to be able to get rid of it very easily. And we don't want that. Now for the ear. I'm going to draw him without his campaign hat, but he usually draws, he usually wears a campaign hat so I can show you. Um, how to draw the ear because I don't think the majority of you will be drawing it with your pony's ear down. Excuse me. Okay, the ear starts up down here. I'll start at the bottom and go up. Goes pretty high up. Bring out the lobe, bring out the top, straight, and then get that into his head like that, like so. Then you're going to match this on this side. And if you have trouble with the outside ear, what you can also do is copy that, paste, get rid of anything else besides the top of the ear, then go ahead and cheat your way through, which is okay. There we go. See, we have perfect symmetrical tops of the ears. Okay, now I'm going to fill in his coat. His coat is black. It's hard to see, so I'm just going to go with, let's go with the turquoise here. Okay, oops. Now this is the reason why I use blue, so I can do this. Get rid of that, get rid of that very easily, okay? The ear. Now let me equalize his outline. All right, there's our head. Now let's draw the eyes. The eyes are kind of an egg shape. Um, My Little Pony has more of an oval. I use an egg shape. I don't know why, I just started with an egg, so I'm going to stay with the egg. The egg, angled outward, this way, start with a straight line, then I use this tool, and I bring this out, and I bring this out. I make sure that the wall here and here are pointing in the direction, the same direction, or forward, flat, so I can do the same this way and the same over here. And there is our egg. That is a little deformed, so I'll have to fix that here, like so. And over here. Very rarely do I get this on the first go, so it's a lot of trial and error. That looked good enough. Okay, for the outside eye, it's not the same process. It's, I've, I haven't had a system to get down yet, but I just pick a spot right there bring it up okay good enough now for a snout the snout 
is what the intention of this is he's angled in a like a about a 45 degree angle instead of looking straight forward so as a 45 this well, I'll use black this is what is supposed to look like kind of is what it's trying to suggest so we're gonna put our snout right at the corner so it kind of makes that little bit of a look well let's go ahead and put the snout which is a very simple little moon shape all right there's a snout now okay what should we do next let's do his body next the body's tricky uh, a lot of artists they do the circle and the biggest circle there I don't do that because it just makes more things to delete I just eye it uh, we'll start at the back I'm gonna use my blue start up here and come down for his neck this is the back of his neck like that and come under his chin big big front chest and I'll go back and correct it later but very rarely do I get on the first go I made him very fat too fat a little too fat let me try that again a little too skinny <laughs> trial and error my friends lots and lots of trial and error okay that looks about good, right about, okay, make sure that's nice and round. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and do his legs. First, let's fill it in. Okay, legs. We're gonna start here and go down straight until we like our length, right about there. Then we're gonna go out just a little bit. Give a nice curve like that. Draw the hoof which are pretty big. And then come up here, it gets smaller at the top and you wanna have that nice out like that. Um, you can go ahead and copy and paste and put it in the back after you filled it in so it doesn't overlap, but I'm just gonna draw it here because I'm just that awesome. Didn't do a very good job. Not that awesome. I'm going to cheat again. Take this. Goodbye outline. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now. There we go. All right. It's a mess. Looks nice and even. Okay. Now for the ever so tricky hind legs. I hate the hind legs. Hind legs are hard. They are the hardest part of the pony in my opinion. But good reference is where the neck ends is where we want to start our flank. Oh, and by the way, this right here, what I'm drawing right now, is actually what the flank is. The flank is not the entire right side of the pony or the back part of the pony. This area right here where the cutie mark goes. Um, this right here, the inner part of the upper leg, this joint right there, that part there, that's where the flank is. The flank is a very sensitive area that ponies or horses don't like to be messed with and some will kick you if you scratch in that area too hard. Um, when you're cleaning the horses you need to be very careful when you're brushing there because they will kick you. I have been kicked. It does not feel good. Okay, looking decent. Um, keep in mind that these take me forever and I'm just trying to keep it quick for you guys. So forgive me if it doesn't look perfect. I'll try my best on the first time or so. Yeah, hind legs are tricky. They are very tricky. And you, you guys probably seen my other comics. They, I, I draw them sitting down. I draw them, um, I don't know, I've had a couple, not, not a couple, but a few running and uh, jumping, sitting, uh, sorry, said sitting, but yeah, so just drawing them standing, that's hard. That, that right there is hard. That took a lot of practice for me. Um, now that looks pretty good, um, proportion wise, looks about right, except right here it looks very skinny. Right there it looks very skinny. So let me go ahead and make his chest buffer like so. But you want to make sure that you stay consistent with the rest of the body. So let's go ahead and do this like that. I know where my point is right there. 
So I'll go ahead and do that again from my new point, like that. Okay, I gotta get in here and clean it up. Mistakes, lots of cleanup. Try to keep this quick for you guys, sorry. All right, that looks good, like that, perfect, okay. That looks all right, okay, good enough. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and sharpen this pony up. A lot of rough, not rough, but rounded edges here, we don't want that. So with this tool, you can go ahead and take the same color as the coat, this tool that scoops around like that, you can do two points. You're gonna start at the bottom, go to the top, and then angle it down so it gives it a nice sharp appearance. And if the stem is not long enough, you can go ahead and just manually add some in there and then sharpen it off. Okay. For the chin, same process. Let me move this to the side a little bit. Up, up, like so, like that. Get rid of this. Okay. Now his head looks pretty sharp. Everything's good there. Let's get down to here. Every single point that comes up needs to be sharpened. So it looks nice and good and tight. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. When you're doing this, make sure that if it's a curb, you follow the curb like that. Okay, looks good. Good, good, good. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and draw his mane and tail. Um, mane and tails are hard also. Eyes, hind legs, mane and tails are the three hardest parts of drawing a pony. So this is Martingale. He's got a very simple, very, very simple mane cut, which is a very straight, militaristic but many of you guys have OCs out there that have very complex, flowy, freedom-loving haircuts or main cuts. And uh, I apologize, but I suck at those. Those take me forever to do. Um, mains are hard. So I don't want to waste too much of your time. Just get done with the martingale here. After this, I'll move on to the eyes. Just going to show you how I draw the hair here. Color, 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 color. Don't want to color that because that's going to take away my outline. Color, color. There's going to be some other artist out there that's going to be seeing what I'm doing, telling me that if I just put a little bit of money down, I can get a program that does all this for me. And you know, I'm open to that. If you can suggest a program that does all this and makes my job easier, I'd love to hear about it. Um, usually they run about 100, 200 bucks. I don't have that type of money, so. You know, if you got any any suggestions, you can go ahead and shoot me down in the comments below. Add that hair. Whoops. Add that through. Pixels. Little tiny pixels can screw me up. Go down here and add this. Okay, now that I'm done with his mane, I would go onto the tail, but let me do the eyes first. Okay, eyes are also tricky. I'm going to first make the iris. Iris of Martingale is a silver. So I'm going to take my tool and let's see, Iris, going to be about that big. Make sure that you angle it just ever so slightly one way. So it's not a perfect up and down oval, but it's angled slightly to the side because this is a rounded shape. Okay, there's his iris. Let's go check for size. That looks about right. Okay, now we can put his pupil in. Make sure that you leave enough iris on all sides. But I've seen some artists do it where it's ridiculously cut short on one end and then on the other. The eyes, you can pretty much do whatever you want with the eyes. But this is how I do mine. Um, add the little light glimmer that comes off of it to give it some life. I go ever so slightly into the iris. Just a little slightly right there and then complete the shape like that then add in this bottom half okay there's our eye and uh, now I'm going to chop off his head so I can put his eye in there that's how I put the eyes in so I can adjust them 
Now the outside eye is smaller, is flatter, because it is a, it's a circle, so we want to make it smaller. So what I do is, I'll do this quick, but shrink it. Every three pixels, you go down one. One, two, three, one, two, three. This looks very time consuming, it is. It's tedious, especially when you have multiple ponies to draw. But if you're just trying to get a good picture of your OC, that's good. All right, you can see how that kind of works. All right, I always do the closer eye first and angle that. Let's make him look at you. He's gonna look at you. And then with this one, Oops, I lost a wow, I'm chopping his head up all over the place. You gotta be careful. I don't have too much room to work up with. Gotta be careful not to chop up his head. This I should have put him a little farther away from the body. Yeah, I should have wow, okay. Let me try this again. Grab that. Good, okay. Put his eye in. Like so grab his head, put back on his body. Alright, I'm not gonna draw his uniform because the majority of OCs do not have the, uh, where did you come from? Go away. Most OCs don't wear clothes, so I will leave that part out. Um, what's next? Oh, I got this. The little, little line that goes in the ear. Little line that goes in the ear. There you go. Again, this is all style. You can do any shape. You can put a higher, lower, any style you want. Um, male ponies and My Little Pony don't have this type of face. They very like, like they go like this. Very, brr. they don't look very uh, sociable. So male ponies for me, I just put a chin, nice squared off chin, whilst females have a rounded off chin like so and have feminine hair and uh, eyelashes okay let me do the tail I hate doing tails tails are hard even on a military pony the tail still has to be somewhat long because ponies have a lot of hair um, your OC or most OCs will have very long hair very long flowing very elaborate tails so be very very long with your strokes. Make sure you're given a lot of room. And uh, trial and error, fellas. You're gonna mess up a lot, and you can't let that get you down. Do it, do it, do it till you get it right. Okay, there's his tail. And we wanna add this decorative middle line to give it some depth. Like so, and I also use this when his tail is facing somewhere else. I can use this line to kind of show where the hair is leaning, turning. This helps with that instead of it just being the outline. Okay, let's go ahead and go ahead and do a facial expression. A martingale is not an oh, and martingale doesn't have an eye. That is right. Let me go ahead and uh, put his eye patch on. Goodbye, eye. No, go away. Damn you, cross-weaving colors. Get rid of his eye. Okay. Eye patch. There you go. There's his eye patch. And that goes up around here and around. Okay, there's his eye patch. Martingale is not a happy fella, so he needs to get rid of this blank face. Um, this is where you can really show a lot of expression. You can make him angry, you can make him sad, you can make him bored, or you know, you can even put a little bit of a like that, give him a little lower eyebrow so his eyes aren't wide open. Um, but I'm gonna give him an angry face. So for the angry face, I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. This is how you do the angry face. Nice straight line like that. Very simple. Then we're gonna go here and get rid of all that and make that black. 
sometimes the paint thing doesn't like to work. There we go. Okay. Um, for the lower, the, the cheek down here, um, simple matter, just like that, and match the bottom, this line to the outline. Martingale's outline is black, so that's going to be the same, but I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, for his mouth. Now, for a blank face, we're going to go like this. The reason why we're going to go like this is this right there, like I probably explained before. There we go. Front here, side here, so we have that working with our favor. But when we do other expressions like smiles, it doesn't address that at all. So when you're doing your smiles, try to implement that and then go around like that. There you go. So you can do that. But I'm too lazy and I just do regular smiles. Okay, let me get back his expression. Like that, that's close enough. Okay, there's his expression. And let me give him his mouth. And that should be good. Cutie marks, he has an invasion star. I don't wanna draw it right now, so I'm just gonna steal it from the model that I've been copying off of. There's his cutie mark, which is an invasion star. Oh, there we go. Forgot about that. Um, this program that I'm using is called Paintbrush. It is a free, downloadable um, thing off the internet. You don't have to pay anything for it. I'm poor, so this works for me. Uh, it has a lot of bugs, and it's not very user-friendly. It does this crap. So majority of the work is just cleaning up work that I've already done. And when I first started, I would be cleaning up more than I'd be drawing because I'd make so many mistakes. But now I've gotten pretty good about it, so there's just a few here and there. Whoops, there we go. And there is Martingale without any clothes on. I would do the uniform, but the majority of, N of OCs don't wear clothes, so that's how I do it. Any questions, comments, suggestions in the future, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.